Hi, I'm Morgan Bowling. Today, I'm going to show you five ingenious ways to use your food processor. We use these in the test kitchen a lot, but there's more to these machines than just pesto and hummus. You probably never thought of your food processor as a tool to help make cocktails, but it's perfect for crushing ice. First, pour two cups of ice into your food processor. Then, pulse eight to 10 times until the ice is finely ground. We test using one second pulses. Now you're ready for some margaritas on the rocks. To make whipped cream, combine one and a half cups of heavy cream, two tablespoons of sugar, and a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Continue processing until soft peaks form. In the end, you have a super quick sweetened whipped cream, perfect for your favorite pie. A food processor can also prevent your hands from cramping and save you time by kneading pizza dough in under two minutes. For this technique, it's important to use the regular metal blade. The plastic dough blades tend to drag the dough or leave it stuck to the sides of the bowl out of reach of their stubby blades. First, add three cups of bread flour, two tablespoons of sugar, and a half teaspoon of instant or rapid rise yeast into your food processor. Then pulse about five times until combined. With the processor running, add one and a third cups of ice water and process until the dough is just combined and no dry flour remains. About 10 seconds. We use ice water to protect the yeast from the heat caused by the friction of the food processor. After you let the dough rest for 10 minutes, add one tablespoon of vegetable oil and one and a half teaspoons of salt. Process until the dough forms a satiny, sticky ball that clears the sides of the bowl. 30 to 60 seconds. Now you're ready to roll. Making your own breadcrumbs with a food processor is easy. You're able to control the size and you can use any kind of bread you want. To begin, simply tear the bread into pieces. Then, pulse in the food processor until the breadcrumbs are ground to the desired texture. There are several different ways to process nuts in a food processor, from simply chopped to a coarse meal to completely ground to a paste. The difference is in how long you process the nuts. I'll use pistachio nuts as an example of how to make nut flour. Add two cups of shelled pistachios to the food processor. Process until finely ground, 16 to 20 pulses. When finished, you'll end up with about two and a half cups of flour. Have fun using one of the most versatile tools in the kitchen. Thanks for watching. Tell us what you thought of this how-to in the comments below and hit that subscribe button.